Uh, friends, um, today I'm going to be talking about Facebook, um, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We use Facebook for a lot of reasons, and it's very good at this time to have uh, Facebook because Facebook helps us to connect to friends that we haven't seen for years. It helps us to share messages. It helps us to to be in contact with people that we have not seen for quite a long, long time. And it also help to build up that social communication network among people. It, bring the, it brings the world closer, and that is very good of Facebook. And it also help, you know, people to share inner you know, feelings, thoughts, and connect and make people, you know, to get along. And also, it's, it's a means that people find friends, you know. But people should be very careful what they post on their Facebook pages because it's very much important. I see a lot of people, you know, giving a lot of information about themselves, about their home. You know, it's good to share information, but be very careful what you share. Be very careful. You know, there are certain information that you cannot let out to the general public like that, you know, because it may haunt you back, you know. And we have to be very careful what we put out there. I've seen people sharing, you know, information even in their personal life. And as a result, when things come out, they begin to ask, how did they come out? Uh, or how did it, you know, how people get to know? But forgetting to know that they use the Facebook um, website or pages and whatever it is to give out most important information. And there are others out there who, you know, posting naked photos or pictures and you know you don't know who you're going to be tomorrow you know you may be the first lady tomorrow of your country and those pictures that you posted on Facebook may haunt you and a lot of young people right now they so crazy around you know posting pictures and doing all kinds of things on the Facebook but you know tomorrow tomorrow those photos they have posted uh, show their nude body their naked body uh, it's going to hunt them one of these days because when you become the first lady or when you become some permanent person in your society or in your community and people start to dig, dig, you know, back into what you, you know, you have done. So I just want to, um, our Facebook friends and others to be very cautious as to what they put on the pages uh, because uh, whatever you say or whatever you do, whatever pictures or photos you put on the Facebook uh, the photos may likely haunt you, you know, so be careful what you put on Facebook. Be careful what you do. The world is getting smaller and smaller all of the time. We, as family, you know, we're getting to know one another. It's not everything people got to know about you. There are some things you got to keep to yourself. And there are some things you, you have to keep for your family. Because what you put out there is gone, you know. And your enemies can use that against you to hunt you down because you put it out. So we just have to be very careful what we post uh, on Facebook, on Twitter, and whatever it is. You know, we live in a world now where people are using communication to, to, to destroy other people. Well, if they can't get you, they will check your Facebook page and they see all the new pictures and all the uh, 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 stuff you have seen. They can use it against you. So be careful what you say and be careful the kind of photo you put on the Facebook or on the uh, website. Because... What you say can be against you. And what you do on the web can be against you too. Especially for young people in colleges and in high school. You know, they think they can just say anything they want to say. Well, this is a free nation. You can say whatever you want to say. You can do whatever you want to do. But remember, those things will haunt you. Because your life may change tomorrow, but the past may not change. So be careful what you put on the Facebook. Because millions and millions of people all around the world are watching you. Millions millions of people all around the world are listening to what you are saying and also, you know, reading your chats and, and, and a lot of things are going on. And I just want to encourage people to Facebook not to be trapped by the Facebook. It is very important. Use it for the best. Don't use it for the worst. Don't use it uh, in a means where it will become negative on your part. Facebook is very much important. It is very good. I use Facebook myself, but let it be used for a positive, you know, reason, not something negative.
Be careful what you post out there. Be careful what you say. There are things you have to remain silent on in between you and your God. It's not everything that you put out there. Because whatever you put out there will haunt you. And what haunts you can destroy you and also bring shame to you. Not only to you, but to your family and to your nation. This is Reverend Philip Blamo saying, be cautious and use Facebook wisely. Thank you very much.